solve x squared plus 3x, all squared, minus 8 times x squared plus 3x, minus 20 equals 0. So you can see right here we have a fourth degree equation, actually, because we have x squared being squared. And you might think, well, we can multiply it out, and then there's some other techniques we can use to actually solve this equation. But an easier way is just to recognize that here we have an expression, x squared plus 3x, and here we have that same expression squared. And so what we can do is we can sub in for that expression, create a new variable, u, which is equal to that expression, then sub in u. So here we have u squared minus 8u minus 20 equals 0. And now we have a quadratic equation that we can solve and factor. We'll get u minus 10 times u plus 2. And now we can plug in back for u and we'll get x squared plus 3x minus 10, and x squared plus 3x plus 2. And now we have two separate quadratic equations, or not, quadratic factors that we can factor themselves. And so this left part will become x plus 5 times x minus 2, and this right part factors into x plus 2 times x plus 1. And now if we have all four of these solutions, or binomials, we can set them equal to 0 and solve for x. We'll get x equals negative 5. 2, negative 2, and negative 1.